Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and I'm here today to clarify a few things about Invisalign's volume discounts. And like I always tell you, if you're gonna do aligners, you really should stick with one company, make a plan, and just go for it. You don't wanna dibble-dabble a little bit here, a little bit there, because you're not benefiting from any of the discounts that you can get by doing volume, right? So Invisalign's great. If it's great for you, especially if you have an iTero, go for it go all out. It is very, very easy to take a general dentist or a pediatric dentist office and get at least gold within the first year and to get gold plus within the next second year. I mean, there's certain things you have to do in order to get it, but you can definitely do it. I see doctors do it all the time. You have the patience. It's so easy. You know, you don't even have to spend any money. They're already in your office. How easy is this? You just need to know what you're doing. And of course, you need to be taking records and have your virtual check-ins all set up um, and you need to be taking, um, have pretty decent social media because that's what's gonna grow it and everything like that. But let's go over how the points work, how the point system works. So there's a variety of different tiers. You know, you've got your bronze, your silver, your gold, your gold plus, your platinum, blah, 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 all the way up to diamond plus. And with, in order to start getting a discount, you need to hit gold, which is an 8% discount. And I believe it's either 24 or 25,000 points. It's something like that. Sometimes they have promos where these, so this is like the basic points that you get right now. And sometimes they have promos, like for example, they had a promo last fall where they were giving you points for Vivera. I think it was like 200 points. But Vivera is huge because even if you're a general dentist office, I guarantee you every single day you could find at least one Vivera case in your office. Almost everyone with straight teeth has retainers. And if you ask them, oh no, my retainers are broken or you know, they're kind of breaking or yeah, I'd like a replacement. If you just ask, you'd be surprised how many people would like new retainers. They probably don't even know that you offer them. And by fairs are easy, especially if you have a scanner. So, but anyways, they're not offering that anymore. So that's out the, off the table. You can still do by Vera, but you're not getting any points for it. Um, so this is the point levels. Obviously, you know my opinion about most cases should be comprehensive, if not moderate. I don't think that general and pediatric dentists should be wading into express or light or anything like that. And assist is a waste and go is dumb. So you've seen my reviews on that. So, I mean, I think that you should only be doing this and this. Both of these are a thousand points. So you only have to do 24 cases in six months. You know, do the math on that. Six months, 24 cases. That's not too many cases. That's four cases a month. That's one case a week to get your discount. It's not that hard. So I'm pretty sure you could pull that off. Remember the, it's not cyclical. So the period of time is gonna be January 1 to June 30th. So come June 30th at you know 11.59 p.m. I don't know what time zone. I'm not sure if it's Eastern or Pacific. Boom, if you have not accepted the treatment plan by then, it goes to the next month. So what tends to happen come end of of June and the first week or two of July is that Invisalign gets really backed up. You're going to see slower treatment turnaround times. I've been noticing this for how many years now? 15, 20 years, something like that. Ever since they've been doing this, um, it's going to get backed up because every, a lot of people are hoarding their cases. You know, like if it's already June, they're like, oh, I didn't get a discount. I'm just going to hoard my cases and just bank them. Come July 1st, I'm going to accept, 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 you know, because that's what plenty of people do that. And same thing, people are rushing at the end of the um, six month period um, to get their cases in. So just FYI. So the turnaround time is gonna be slower on everything, not only from manufacturing, and this is just my personal experience and the experience of many other people. So they don't publish this. It's gonna turn around time's gonna be slow, not only for get, to get the clean checks and to get the revisions, but to also for manufacturing. So just FYI. Um, these are the points that you get. We've kind of already gone over this. I have plenty of videos about what all these mean and which ones you should be doing, right? Um, what else do you need to know? That this is something very important that actually I didn't even know until I read all the fine print today. The discount, if you have a volume discount, does not apply to Light, Go, Express, 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 or Vivera. So you can only apply the discount, like I said, which is what you should be doing to comprehensive and moderate. So, which is all I'm telling you to do anyways. I said, the only thing you need to be doing in your office is comprehensive, moderate, and Vivera. Just those three products, that's it. You know, and if, if you really have a limited or a, a light quote unquote treatment, I tell you to do white label, you're gonna pay 
30 cents on the dollar. You're gonna pay 20 cents on the dollar. If it's that easy and you feel it's that predictable and you feel the patient is that compliant that you take a discounted product, why are you dropping? Because you're getting almost no points anyways. 250 points, forget it. I'd rather save $1,400 than get 250 points. Um, light, okay, 500 points. So I'm still paying $1,200, $1,300. I can pay $400 or $300 through white label. Exact same trim, still has precision cut, still has bite ramps. It has everything except for MA and you can't do MA in those limited products anyways. Looks the same, feels the same. It's basically the same thing, okay? No, the attachments aren't the stat shape. They're a slightly different shape, but guess what? From my experience, it all works about the same. So, and I've seen a lot of cases and a lot of times you don't even need attachments, but we won't even go there. So anyways, that's pretty much what I had to say. And then lastly, a lot of y'all are like sharing accounts with other people that I know you don't work with. So, cause I know a lot of stuff and I see a lot of stuff and you're using other people's accounts. It says here, you're not allowed to do that. So just letting you know, align pricing terms and conditions prohibit sharing the use of clean IDs. Now, I happen to know there's a lot of that going on. Um, and I happen to know that that's how you guys are getting your volume discounts. If a line was smart, they would be a little more, they would just look on the internet, pull up Google and be like, okay, this doctor doesn't work with these four other doctors, you know, and it, this doctor is submitting under this doctor, but they're not there. I mean, I realize that you're the ones that are, that are doing the BAA and that's your license and everything, but I mean, it's dumb. Dummy, I, mean, I know you're trying to get a discount, but first of all, just do it on your own because I think liability wise, it's a dumb move to go running under someone else's account and it becomes a complete nightmare when somebody needs to transfer in or transfer out. That's when I've had that happen before to me where I had to go way back when maybe it was allowed. I don't know. Sometimes when you're at DSOs, you're working in group practices, you are doing that, right? But that's a different situation because a line can create a corporate account and that's something that they need to set up. So you really should be doing that. You shouldn't be using someone else's account. You should use your own account. But anyways, that is not allowed. And cases and points are tracked, blah, blah, blah. Discount service and benefits are awarded to the practice associated with a clinic. So if you break away and you are using someone else's account, you're starting at zero. You get none of the perks. So the sooner you do it, just rip the bandaid off. And then also, you know, if you're trying to get CE units, I mean, you want to, they have, you know, one of the benefits, like I said, they have great CEs. They have, the summit I went to was the best one I've ever, I've never been to one that good before. And I learn a lot at all their CEs and I learn a lot from the webinars too. Well, sometimes, um, but in any case, you're missing out because you're not the one getting the CEs, the owner doctor or whoever's account is under is getting the CEs. You can't learn anything officially. And you know, this doesn't make any sense. I feel like you're, you're missing out. And if you're trying to be cheap and not pay the money to register, I mean, last I checked, and maybe that was a promo, you could get certified for $995 and it took 45 minutes. You don't even have to travel. Don't get me started on what I had to do to get certified. No, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I had to do to get certified because both of my Align certification experiences were hilarious. Not in a bad way, but first one, I was in residency and our I, you've probably heard me say this. Our program director said, if I find out any of you go and get certified, even if it's on your own time by Invisalign, we'll kick you out of the residency. You will never graduate the residency. What did we do? We all went. So we flew to San Francisco from the East Coast for a weekend. Let's try to figure this out because we could not miss any work, any school, any school, any residency. So I think we took the last flight out Friday evening and then we all took red eyes back again Sunday night. It was insane. We got no sleep. But back then, Align Technology would actually put up each resident in a fancy hotel. And they would wine and dine you. They would took us into the city to go clubbing. I mean, we got zero sleep. <laughs> That's all I remember for three days. So much fun, though. So much fun. I remember we were learning how to take impression on Typodons. Obviously, you're not doing that anymore. But yeah, it was a great event. I don't remember anything of it. But then the second time, Align used to have a rule that if you went inactive and you didn't do cases for a little while, that they'd shut down your account, which was terrible, right? Especially for orthodontists. Come on. Think that, you know, because sometimes you'll you'll go to an office, you know, especially if you're associating when you're first starting out and they'll be like, we don't do Invisalign, you know, so you're not going to do any for a little while. But doesn't mean you don't want to do it. So that happened to me. And then I went to a new office where they did a lot of Invisalign. And I'm like, great. I love Invisalign. Fantastic. Oh, no, Sorry 
you have to go get recertified. So I had to spend something like three or four thousand dollars. It was a lot back then. Um, and I had to fly to Texas, I was from California, uh, put up, stay up in a hotel, everything to relearn everything that I already knew, to literally sit in a classroom. It was the stupidest thing ever. You know, I was like, really? I guess this was before webinars and before Zoom and all that, but absolutely ridiculous waste of money. I was very mad at a line. That was not cool. But I guess they don't do that anymore. But in any case, you can go on a webinar for 45 minutes and get certified for $995. Just do it. And you're going to get skis too. So makes no sense to me. Everyone should just have their own account. Anyways, that is my lecture for today. Hopefully you learned something new. Thanks.